if you've recently had a cold, you might be wondering if used tissues are compostable because you've probably gone through a lot of them and maybe you feel guilty that you're throwing all of those away in the trash bin. And the good news is that in some contexts they are. So if you're using a green bin that comes from your city, then you're probably fine to throw used tissues in there as long as your illness wasn't something extremely serious. And the reason for that is that municipal compost bins go to a municipal composting center. They use very high heat. They can certainly break down the fibers and tissues. And because of that high heat process, um, any bacteria should be eliminated during that uh, composting process. However, the caveat is um, don't throw used tissues into your home compost bin. So if you're composting in your backyard, your bin will not get hot enough to deal with all bacterial contamination. And the best bet is not to put anything that might have bacterial contamination. That includes things like meat as well as used tissues in that bin. Your bin can probably break down um, the actual fibers, but again, you don't want to rely on it because uh, it does not get hot enough in most cases to deal with all the bacterial contamination that might potentially be present there. Um, now, one question people also have is, you know, what about composting tissue paper? Can I compost tissue paper? And the good news there is that, yes, in almost all cases, you can compost tissue paper, the kind of thing you would wrap a present in or, or put into a, a gift bag, either at home or in your municipal compost bin, because it's not contaminated. Unless it has a lot of metallic elements to it or glitter on it, you're probably fine to compost that in either setting. And there's one more caveat, and that's, you know, we're talking about used tissues where maybe you blew your nose or used it to wipe up a household spill. That's usually okay, again, with the caveats I mentioned. However, um, if you use that tissue to wipe up something potentially hazardous, then uh, that's where it becomes a little more complicated. So, for example, you know, say you worked in your garage and you used a tissue to wipe a part on your car as you were working in your car, the oils that come out from that uh, could potentially be hazardous. Likewise, if you used a tissue when you were doing your nails and you got acetone nail polish remover on it, again, that could potentially be hazardous in a compost bin. So for those kinds of materials that are, that are um, contaminated with something that's not organic, not biological, it's generally best to throw them in the trash or if they're a much more serious contaminant to seek out your city's home hazardous waste disposal center. Oftentimes that's a free center, you can take those to. Um, but unless it's been contaminated with something uh, that's you know, potentially hazardous, again, green bin, probably okay. Don't compost uh, in your home bin for used tissues. If you blew your nose with them, tissue paper, pretty much okay in all settings.